I said, if it doesn't apply to you, then, you know, don't take it personally. And the reason I'm indoors is because my Nikon camera is uh, too sensitive to the cold and it shut down right away. As I said, my Fuji camera is made of much tougher stuff than this Nikon camera, which costs twice as much as my Fuji camera. Um, this Fuji camera can't handle Canada. Actually, it can't handle a lot of things. So, that was a dumb purchase. And uh, But what's done is done. Um, but uh, I, can, I can splice the two together and it'll have some shock value, you know. Uh, as, you know, first I'm outside and then suddenly I'm indoors. But I just, I just want to qualify this. To the best of my knowledge, I never called anybody in my family a whore, okay? To the very best of my knowledge. I did not call my son's wife a whore. I did not call uh, my daughter a whore. I did not call my mother a whore. I did not call uh, uh, my, my niece a whore. Um, but you know, if the shoe fits, well, it fits, you know, wear it. Either wear it or change your ways, you know. If, if, if something I said got to any one of yous out there, um, fine. But I didn't directly call anybody a whore. What I stated was what the Bible stated. A woman who jumps from man to man to man, okay? A woman who does that sort of thing, all right? Well, I suppose, I mean, we could call her a dog, uh, but her being female, there's a, another word for that, okay? Um starts with B. It's not a cuss word, although some people like to use it in that context. A female dog is called bitch, all right? But um, a woman who jumps from man to man to man, sleeping with man after man after man, well, the Bible says she's a whore, okay? A woman who jumps from one man's bed into another man's bed into another man's bed. Well, the Bible says she's a whore. And I'm inclined to agree with the Bible. So if the shoe fits, ladies, you know, I mean, I'm sure that um, you're in a better position to determine whether it fits than I am. You know, try it on for size. If it fits, well... You know what you are. Okay? If it doesn't fit, well, don't take it so personally then. No, I didn't go around calling anybody a whore. Not directly. Uh, I don't ever recall uh, saying that my son's wife was a whore. Don't ever recall making that statement. Um... You know, uh, maybe I have a selective memory, but I, I, you know, I don't remember ever directly saying, you know, hey, son, your wife is a whore. I don't ever remember saying that, you know, I don't ever remember saying, uh, 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 you know, to my niece, hey, you know what, you're a whore. I don't ever remember saying that to her. Okay? I don't remember ever calling her that. I don't remember ever saying to my sister, you know what, sister, you're a whore. I, I don't recall ever doing that. Okay, But I may have said something like, the Bible says that when a woman goes from man to man to man, 
she's a whore. I may have said something to that effect. You know, so if the shoe fits, ladies, ladies, you know, ladies are so rare. I hope young men are listening to this. Ladies are so rare. Now, I've been around. Okay, I'm, 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 I'm pushing 55 here, okay, to be honest. All right? I'm pushing 55 years of age. I was not born yesterday. I've seen a lot in this lifetime. And, you know, there's a, a, a new breed surfacing here. A new breed of female. Um, not not too new, but new enough. It, it's becoming more and more popular. Called uh, a cougar. Okay, A cougar is generally a woman, an older woman. Generally 10, 20 years older than her prey. And I watch how they talk about the men that they prey upon. The young men, you know, that they prey upon. The, the, the level of regard and respect that they have for them. Okay? And um, I listen to what they say. I can tell you it's not that impressive. How, you know, how they regard the young man. You know, how they feel like they're in control. And um, this is just one aspect of the neo-feminist mindset. Uh, that is thriving in North America today. North America. And when I say North America, I mean all of America. I'm talking about Mexico. I'm talking about those United States, you know, the, our status brothers and sisters to the south of the Canadian border. And I'm including Canada. All of North America. This is a good way to look at things geographically. Because culture flows to culture. Alright? And we all know what flows downhill, right? Okay. Where did sodomy start? Here in North America? Where did it first get legalized coast to coast? And we all know what flows downhill, right? Anyway. That aside. That's a totally different issue. A totally different topic. But you can see why these cougars don't really respect these young men. Because these young men are still naive. They're still thinking with their hormones. They hear the hormone and they're onto her. Okay? Or at least they think they're onto her. They're not actually not onto her at all. Okay? Um, they're onto the scent. That's all they're onto. And so many young men are deceived this way. So many young men are manipulated this way. So many young men are ensnared this way. They're in a trap. But um, I'd like to warn the young men. But it's hard to because in North America, with our North American slanguage, especially the English slanguage, um, bad is good, good is bad, you know. Um, we have corrupted our, our language to the point, you know, where to be a dog is a good thing, you know, to be called a dog, okay? Biblically speaking and culturally speaking, in other nations, you don't want to call anybody a dog. You, you call a man a dog in, in other countries, he'll turn you into dog food, okay? That's the last thing you want to be is a dog. And, and I'm, going to, I'm going to elaborate on this a little here. Um, a dog is worse than a whore. Okay? So if you don't have a whole lot of regard for whores, young man, like if you really don't have a whole lot of regard for a whore, you don't want to be calling yourself a dog. Okay? Because a dog is worse than a whore. Now how do I know that? Okay. Let me make my point here. Your average whore will take care of her children half of the time, okay? She may not do a very good job, you know, because she's so busy spreading her legs for the dogs. But a whore will, you know, generally speaking, take care of her children at least half of the time, you know? Now, she probably won't do a very great job of it, you know, 
for many reasons, you know, no real father in the house and that sort of thing, you know, and uh, man after man after man, she's been so compromised, right? You know how it is, or you should. But a whore will sort of, you know, take care of her kids, kind of. At least a bit, you know, maybe at least provide the basics, at least most of the time. You know, I mean, not all whores. Some whores are real bad, okay? But, you know, your average whore, okay, will do that. A dog? No, no, no. All the dog knows is, is, and I'm not cussing here, okay? All the dog knows to do is to hump the bitch, okay? That's all a dog knows, okay? Hump the bitch, cut and move on. Find the next bitch in heat and cut and move on. No, 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 study dogs, okay? This is how dogs operate, okay? Dog just humps the bitch and moves on, okay? He's too domesticated to actually take care of her or the puppies or to fend for them or to provide for them, okay? He's a dog. That's what a real dog is. That's what a real dog does, okay? It's the bitch, who takes care of her puppies, all right, and fends for them. And so we live in a society here in North America where we are vast becoming like dogs. You know, the guy impregnates uh, the woman and he moves on, all right. And he really thinks himself something great. You know, he's got his notches, you know, cut in his bedpost, how many he's nailed, right? But he doesn't really partake in much of the responsibility in rearing the child. And so that child grows up to become a dog, whether male or female variety. And we all know what the female variety of dog is, right? So if you're wondering why there's so many of the female two-legged variety of dog in the world today, right? Well, look no further for the answer. It's pretty clear. Now, why am I saying these things? Because generally, when I talk about this, I explain how most men in North America are dogs, okay? So I'm going to state this, make this very clear. Most men in North America are dogs. And we wonder why our nation's going down the tube. We wonder why, why, are, why are our nations going down the tube? Why? Well, largely because most men are dogs. That's why our nations are going down the tubes. And most women are, well, you fill in the blanks, okay? Dogs, female variety, two-legged, not four-legged. You know, it's getting to the point where the four-legged variety is more trustworthy, more loyal, more dependable, and more predictable. Just saying. Just saying. Now, I've lived 55, well, almost. I'm not there yet. But I'm pushing my mid-50s, okay? And I've seen enough. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I would trust the uh, four-legged variety uh, over the two-legged variety 99 times out of 100. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. If I could have a female dog, four-legged variety, I would. I would. Okay? Unfortunately, my circumstances don't permit me to have one. Because I know that that four-legged variety would take good care of me and would be loyal to me. It would never leave my side. But anyway, you know, I digress. Young man, I hope you're listening. I hope you're paying attention to this video. All right. So, I have videos out there where I explain how that most men in North America are dogs. I do not repent of that statement. I do not retract that statement. Nobody's going to make me take it back. Most men in North America are dogs. Are there exceptions? Certainly there's exceptions. I'm not a dog. 
I'm not a dog. I was a dog. I'll tell you, that's, there's one more reason I know. I was a dog. I, I confess, I was a dog. When I was a younger man, I mean much younger, okay, before I turned, in, in, before I went into my 20s, I was a dog, okay. I, I didn't start pulling my socks up until I was around 21. Uh, you know, I started pulling my act together, okay. I started to realize, you know, this is a dog's life. And uh, back then, a dog's life wasn't really such a good life. All right. Excuse me, I need a slurp here or two of my coffee. Oh. But I have many videos out there. Non-video audio presentations, to be more precise. Where I declare that most women in North America are whores. Okay, did you get that? I'm going to say it again. Most women in North America are whores. There it is. You can take it or leave it. If it fits, well, wear it. Or do something about it. Change. Change would be the best thing, ladies. Change. Stop being a whore. Okay? But most women in North America are whores. I am not going to repent of that statement. I am not going to retract that statement. It has been my finding that most women in North America are whores. In other words, it's a woman who jumps from man to man to man to man. And I'll tell you, by the time she's in her 20s, she's probably had half a dozen men already under the bed sheets, if not more. Okay? She's a whore. Okay? She's a whore. All right? That's the deal. You know, uh, I'm just the messenger. Don't shoot me for it. That's what she is. Okay? And as my daughter reminded me a long time ago, she said to me, Dad, sluts are people too. Well, I don't deny that. Oh, absolutely. Sluts are people too. Okay? And murderers are people too. And child molesters are people too. Okay? You know, and thieves are people too, and politicians are people too, and doctors and lawyers and Indian chiefs, we're all people. We're all people, okay? Welfare bums, you, the, the whole bit, I mean, we're all people. Even Christians are people, okay? And Jews are people, and, and Muslims are people, and, you know, I can just go on about, you know, what's people. All right, I don't deny that. Sluts are people too. Yeah, she's right. Sluts are people too. Whores are people too. You know, I understand that. You know, this is where I have a little bit of a problem. This is where I kind of choke and cough. Dogs are people too. The irony is that, you know, the four-legged variety are probably closer to what I would call a real person than the two-legged variety. Now, I'm sorry if anybody is upset with this video. I mean, I'm sorry if, you know, if, if that's how they respond to it emotionally. Because I'm not saying this to hurt anybody. I'm saying this to get a point across. This is the nature of society in North America. Men are dogs, women are whores. Are there exceptions? Absolutely. The exception proves the rule. That's why it's called an exception. So, we needn't wonder why women are so promiscuous. We needn't wonder why there are women with, you know, children from like three or four different dads. No reason to wonder. No wonder there. No wonder. Okay, we, we needn't wonder why so many women are whores when so many men are dogs. I mean, if I'll tell you, if there was a shortage of dogs, there would surely be a shortage of whores. You know, I mean, she got to spread her legs for something, right? For that baby to be conceived. <laughs> 